Let's talk about being magnetic. Now, being magnetic means basically being charismatic and having an attractive personality that draws people to you. Do you want to be that magnetic person? When you walk into a room, everyone just loves you, everyone just waits for you, everyone loves being around you. That is a plus, that is a flex. So if you want to be that person, keep watching this video because everything I learned over the years, I'm going to spill it out here so that you guys will be able to be that magnetic person. Now being magnetic includes exuding confidence, being positive and being authentic. I will explain all of these further in the video. Hit the subscribe button and let's get into the video. Rule number one of being a magnetic person is having confidence, is having self-confidence. Now please don't mistake self-confidence with overconfident, okay? There is a huge difference with confident and overconfident. Now, when I say confident, it involves recognizing your strengths, setting achievable goals, and embracing your uniqueness. Now, having confidence is the key trait when it comes to being a magnetic person. No one wants to be around that person who's always complaining about how miserable their lives are, always complaining about their insecurities. Listen, everyone has their insecurities. Trust me, even Bella Hadid has her own insecurities. Everyone has their own insecurities. But the key over here is to never show your weakness. Never talk about your insecurities because everyone has them. Don't walk into a room or don't be in a group of people and point out your insecurities because most of the time people don't even notice your insecurities as much as you do. People don't pay attention to those things but instead excel on things that you are already good at because that will boost your confidence. If you're good at doing a particular thing, talk about that. Do not talk about your weaknesses like the mold that you have behind your neck. If you're confident in the work that you do, brag about it, but not too much. Brag about it, be proud of what you do, but do not talk about how much you suck at karate. Do not talk about how much you suck at driving. Do not talk about your weaknesses. Always be that confident person. When you walk into a room, people should know that the most confident person is walking into the room. But again, but do not ever walk into a room with overconfidence. Overconfidence is when you think that you are better than everyone. You can think about it. You can think of yourself as the most confident person. You can think of yourself as the most beautiful, most smartest person in the world. But do not ever show it to the world because that, my friend, is going to be your downfall. No one likes to be around overconfident people. If you want to be overconfident, go ahead. But being overconfident is not going to make you a magnetic person. If you want to be a magnetic person, you have to be a confident person, not an overconfident person. You have to be humble. A part of being a magnetic person is being humble. Number two is having a positive attitude because nobody likes to be around negative people. Maintaining a positive outlook will be more appealing to others. This includes being positive in every situation, focusing on the good in bad situations, showing gratitude, and being optimistic about things. Listen, when I say, when I tell you, just just think for a second. Have you ever met those people who are always negative? Like they always see the bad in things. They never see the good in things. And sometimes it drains the shit out of you. It drains your energy. You do not like to be around these people because nobody likes to be in a negative environment. So if you ever catch yourself being that person, change it. Here's what I do. Whenever I catch myself being negative about someone or something, I immediately change my thoughts because I don't like being negative. Whenever life throws a brick at me, I will build a house with it. I always try to look at the positive and focus on the positive instead of the negative. So when you're around people, let's just say your friend is going through a hard time or your group of friends got into shit tons of trouble. Instead of crying and draining your energy and draining everybody else's energy, you are that one person who's like, listen guys, there's no point of wasting our time and energy on this bad situation. Instead, let's do something good out of it. Come up with a plan. Come up with a positive thing. Give others positivity. Trust me, when you are that friend who's always positive, people would like to be around you. Have you ever noticed that one friend or that one person, whenever you're around them and something bad happens, you always have that confidence like, something will change something positive will happen i'm not worried because this person is near me you have to be that person if you want to be a magnetic person you have to be the person that when something bad happens people know that you will fix it by the way do not overdo that i do not mean overdoing it i mean like just having a positive outlook towards it number three being authentic this is so important nobody likes fake people okay whenever you do something always be true to yourself embrace your individuality being authentic involves being genuine being honest and being transparent and also being genuine in your interactions with others 
Now, when I say being transparent, I do not mean saying whatever you feel like and doing all of that shit. Absolutely not. When I say be transparent, I mean do not be that person when someone talks about you, they go like, you know, she did say this, but I'm not really sure. Because they think of you as a person who can say one thing and then you do the opposite. Do not be that person. Whenever someone talks about you to another person, they should truly believe the words that they're saying. For example, let's say you're in a group of three and let's say Jake and John. Jake and John are talking about you when you're not around. They should have that full confidence that you are the actual good person that they think of you as. Jake and John should never be like, I mean, she is kind and she is genuine, but like, I am kind of questioning her intentions like she may have spoken bad about us who knows absolutely not if you want to be that magnetic person people should literally believe in you people should genuinely believe that you could never do that because you are a good person you are an authentic person and when i say be yourself do not try to copy others. It's okay to get inspired. It's okay to be motivated. It's, it's okay to be inspired by others, by people who you see around you, but do not literally copy every single thing they do. If your friend who inspires you colors her hair and you like it, you can do it. But if you start copying every single thing she does, you are literally just trying to be her. You're not trying to be true to yourself. So try to figure out what you like about yourself, what you want to change about yourself and do things that are good for you. Do not straight up copy somebody else. Number four, having good communication skills. Effective communication is crucial when it comes to being a magnetic person. This includes actively listening instead of interrupting, listening to understand instead of listening to just reply, clear articulation of thoughts and ideas, and the ability to engage with others in meaningful conversations. If you lack good communication skills, I would recommend you to work on them. For example, I've met these people who have really good attitudes towards things, who are really good people, but they lack good communication skills. As in, they interrupt people, they listen just to reply, not to understand. They, they can't hold a conversation for more than five minutes. You need to build your communication skills. If you're having a conversation with someone, you need to be able to drag the conversation for a long time whenever you're talking to someone your conversation shouldn't be that long that a person gets tired of listening to you trust me when you talk for too long people do get tired of it because no one wants to listen to someone talk for like so long always try to articulate your thoughts and ideas in a short way in in a small amount of time but make sure that whatever you have in your head is clearly expressed in your words Number five, empathy. Show empathy towards others by understanding their emotions and their thoughts. And understanding their perspectives can make you relatable to that person. Now put yourself in this position. Do you have that one friend who always listens to your boy problems even though you have repeated the same story a thousand times? Don't you just love going to her whenever you have a problem and express whatever you feel? Because she is a good listener. That makes her a magnetic person. Whenever someone's going through something, not just through difficult situations. Try to always understand where the other person is coming from. Try to understand people's emotions. Don't be that person when your friend is crying, you're just like, well, you know, there's nothing I can do. And at this day and age, being an adult, a fully grown adult, you can't have excuses such as, I don't know how to deal with emotional people. That should not be your answer. You should be able to handle people who are emotional. There are people in this world who are emotional, they get emotional, they feel emotions, and there are people who are cold and heartless. You need to understand both their perspectives, both their emotions, and everyone's thoughts. You need to be that person who someone could walk up to you and actually talk to you about something. You never know whose life you are going to save. You never know who you'll be able to help by just listening. Number six, continuous self-development. Work on self-development by gaining new knowledge, working on new projects, working on yourself, seeking self-improvement opportunities because these can enhance your magnetic qualities. Trust me, there is no one more magnetic and more attractive than someone who is smart and someone who is working on self-development. Have you ever met those people who are always partying, they don't care about anything, they don't care about their goals and they're always gossiping about others. Those are the kind of people you just don't want to be around. But if you do love being around those kind of people, that means you are the problem. But if you want to be around people who bring up the good in you, who challenge you to work on yourself, those are the right people for you. So you have to be that kind of person for other people. That means learning new things. You know, recently I started studying about the galaxy, our universe, and I know so much about the universe at this point. I could build a rocket myself and just fly to the moon. Okay, I'm just kidding. Who knows? But anyways, learn new knowledge. 
I love learning new languages because I can then be a bilingual queen or a multilingual queen, definitely not bilingual because I already know more than five languages. I love seeking for self-improvement opportunities. If my friend recently invited me to go out to learn pole dancing, that is something I'm particularly not interested in. But I was like, you know what? It doesn't particularly have to be a bad thing. It is a fitness thing. I could actually gain something out of it. It is learning a new skill. I have done yoga. I have learned Pilates. I have learned new languages. I have learned how to ice skate. I have learned how to roller skate. The list goes on and on. Every year I try something new. So whenever someone invites me to go out, like someone I meet who's new in my life, they go like, you know, ha do you know how to do this so that we could do it next week? I'm like, yeah, I do. And they're like, wow, okay, great, let's do it. Be a magnetic person by just knowing how to do things. Read books so that you can interact with other people. You can be like, yeah, I read that book. Watch movies so you could be like, so you could have a conversation about that movie. Learn new skills so you could meet new people and engage and have those kind of a lot of people, different kinds of people in your life who know how to do a lot of things. Trust me, in life, there are so many things we could achieve. There are so many things we have yet to explore. If we're still doing the same thing every single year, every single day, and for the rest of our lives, we're basically in the same place we've been in the past five years. So yeah, that is basically how you be a magnetic person. So if you wanna be a magnetic person, follow all of these things. This is just part one. If you want part two, let me know in the comment section down below. I will definitely reply to you guys. I will definitely make a video if you guys want part two. So let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, that is it for this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.